Procedural Content Generation, or PCG, is a technique used in video game design to create game content as users play through a video game. Historically, PCG has been successful in generating expansive growing worlds, dungeons, and populating them with non-player characters. This work moves PCG towards adding dialogue delivered quests into, already existing, into the already existing arsenal of PCG, improving a player's immersion and experience, not only through their actions, but with their words as well. We define a quest as a task that an NPC requests to be accomplished. For example, go mine 20 iron ore in the Iron Hills. Together with our quests, we generate a dialogue in which the quest can be introduced and delivered during conversation, providing additional background information that may, or, that may not have previously been known. Unlike narrative planners and story sifters that focus on overarching stories and narrative generation, our work focuses on these quests and dialogues. There are two types of limitations that affect textual PCG that we attempt to balance. Deterministic generation constrained by predefined rules tends to be too rigid and can lead to repetitive patterns and a lack of novelty in generation. However, the benefits, however, the benefits of deterministic processes is that they can be contextually grounded and remain predictable and accurate. On the other hand, stochastic content generation based on neural networks or other machine learned processes suffer from the inverse problem of occasional erratic and incoherent content generation. This causes the generated text to oftentimes be unrelated to the game world, leading to a diminished player experience. To bridge this gap, this work proposes creating procedurally generated content that is constrained by world state and genre conventions while still being novel and responsive to player input. This is accomplished via a content generation framework that integrates key facts and entities from the game world, stored within a knowledge base with a fine-tuned large-scale language model. To begin, the framework parses user input to deterministically extract facts and entities from an external knowledge graph, which are filled into a quest template, generating potential quests. An example of a knowledge graph can be seen here. Of the potential quests generated from the knowledge graph, the quest which is most in line with the player's desire is then chosen to move forward in the pipeline. This quest is deterministically generated to ensure that the quest has been assigned to the player is as accurate and achievable as possible. The next step in the pipeline is to pass a generated quest to the large scale language model. The language model's purpose is to generate a believable no novel dialogue, which the NPC would provide when giving or explaining the quest to the player. By providing the world context embedded in the form of a quest to the fine-tuned fine language model, the language model remains constrained within reason to the game world and genre. The level of detail and creativity leveraged within the dialogue is intended to add a more personalized atmosphere to the quest-giving task, thus improving the interaction of players with their NPC counterparts. In summary, our pipeline uses game world facts and entities from a knowledge base with a large scale language model to generate immersive quests, selects the most appropriate quest in line with the player input, and uses the language model to generate a believable and personalized dialogue, enhancing the interaction between players and the NPCs. Here are some examples generated using our pipeline. To verify our results, we chose to focus on dialogue quality, the player responsiveness of our generations, and a novel relevance score. A description of our models and the relevant baselines used in evaluation are listed and described here. Model abbreviations will be seen in evaluation graphs. The purpose of our survey was to capture the fluency to measure the English grammaticality, grammaticality of the text, coherence to measure the internal consistency, novelty to measure how original the text seems, and creativity to measure how interesting and engaging the text seems. Survey respondents were recruited from students enrolled in computer science courses at Brigham Young University, and were asked to evaluate a random sample of 16 title dialogue pairs taken from three of the four models, which were also randomized. In total, 208 people responded to our survey. We were able to find that three of the four language models were able to achieve Likert scores similar to those received by human crafted quests from the World of Warcraft video game. In an effort to evaluate both the quality of our knowledge graph, verbalized quests, and the extent to which our framework impacts player experience and satisfaction, 
we conducted a user study from a subset of the online survey participants. Each of our 124 users were presented with our system and received some general instruction on how it worked. In the instructions, we stated that each interaction should be treated as if they, the player, were walking up to a new NPC for the first time with the intention of obtaining a quest. We then invited them to initiate a text-based conversation with the NPC. Because we have not yet implemented any com additional conversation abilities in the system, their initial introductory phrase was sufficient, regardless of its semantic content, to trigger the internal quest generation process. For the purposes of this playtest, we generated different tuples for each user prompt using three different methods. An option from our normal knowledge graph based model, a randomly selected handwritten option from the World of Warcraft training data, and an option drawn from a naive ba baseline foreground language model. Each generated tuple was then blindly shown to the testers who were asked three questions. Which prompt did you feel was most responsive to your input? Which prompt did you feel was most exciting and creative? And write two to three sentences explaining your answers. To better understand why participants often preferred prompts retrieved from the World of Warcraft dataset, which were selected randomly, to prompts generated by either of the responsive models, we con conducted a qualitative analysis of the user responses. We found that prompts generated by our pipeline in the Ngram model often seem disassociated with the input in semantically incongruent ways. Whereas the participants felt that the human written examples from the WoW dataset while less directly related to the user's input, contained enough foundational information for them to justify that it was the most responsive. For example, because it gave a specific task to do. We observed that many participants initiated NPC conversations with a generic phrase such as, how can I help you? Or do you have any quests? Likely as a result to the user study being presented in a web interface rather than in a video game format. Without the larger context of a game world and ongoing storyline, the initial text entered by the study participants lacked the specificity needed to create truly personalized quests. We anticipate that a more embedded study involving ongoing gameplay and repeated NPC interactions over time would elicit more specific quest solicitations. Notably, despite the relatively small size of our primary model, DRGM, its relevant scores mirror those of handwritten quests more than any other model. Our empirical results suggest that player engagement and overall satisfaction can be improved by A. Allowing the player to participate in co-creative process of quest design and B. Using world-consistent quest descriptions as the impetus for neural NPC dialogue generation. Long term, we envision potential extensions of our framework in which all NPC speech, rather than just quest-related dialogue, is generated via automated means. We also envision fully co-creative game environments in which the dialogue is generated by the language model becomes the impetus for updates to the world state. For example, if an NPC asserts that a specific item is located under that hill there, the in-game knowledge graph could be updated to include a location relationship between the item and a nearby hill, and ensuing gameplay would proceed accordingly. The core contributions of this work include a. the demonstration that large-scale language models can be constrained to conform with the world knowledge graph and used for quest generation along with the corresponding dialogue presentation, b. the presentation of a dynamic quest generation pipeline that is responsive to freeform text entered by the user allowing quests to become in-game instantiations of user goals and desires, and C, an exploration of user responses to the presented pipeline, which can be used to inform and improve the deployment of our system in expanded context. Our work shows that using a language model with a knowledge graph has important implications in procedural content generation and user experience. We hope this will contribute to ongoing discussions and inspire further research in this field.